The pike push-up is a push-up variation that puts emphasis on the upper back and shoulders because you're piking your hips above the level of your shoulders. And I've featured this exercise in several routines on my channel over the last couple years. So when I saw this comment come in from a subscriber requesting a video about pike push-ups, I realized I had somehow forgotten to ever make a tutorial. So this will be my official pike push-up tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at the execution of the pike push-up, followed by progression in case it's too hard and a couple stretches to help you along the way. So let's get started with the execution. From a standing position, reach down and touch your toes or do the best you can, and then walk your hands out on the floor until you can comfortably lay your hands flat and keep your feet flat on the floor as well. Press hard into the floor to elevate your scapula. And then what you're gonna do is slowly bend at the elbows to lower your head towards the floor. Notice that my head goes forward. See how my head is in front of my hands? That's key for the pike push-up. Then extend at the elbows to push yourself back up to the starting position. Another thing to note is that as I perform these reps, if you watch carefully while I lower down, my heels come off the floor. This helps shift your weight towards the shoulders. Now, one thing you might be tempted to do is to look up so that you're facing the floor, looking right at the ground in the bottom position. I do this sometimes as well. And it's not ideal to have your cervical spine in that position during the pike push-up. So instead, what you want to do is keep your eyes locked on your feet as you lower down. This will help keep your head in a neutral position throughout the pike push-up. And one more tip on execution is that you can actually raise your heels off the floor and come up onto your toes in the pike. So if you watch here, I come up on my heels and hold that position throughout the pike push-up. That will shift even more load to the upper back and shoulders, making the exercise just a little more challenging. So keep that in mind for when you need to make your pike push-ups a little harder. And now let's take a look at the progression that you can use if the pike push-up is too difficult for you. So the first progression is actually kneeling push-ups, but not the basic kneeling push-up. I recommend doing this with a forward lean. Notice that my head goes way in front of my hands. That's key if you want to use this as a progression to pike push-ups. Once the forward leaning kneeling push-ups start to get easy, you can get into a pike, but then take one step back. So you're actually widening the angle of your pike to make it easier. You can also bend at the knees a little bit to reduce the load and then try performing your pike push-ups with knees bent in a wide pike. Always remember that a steeper pike is gonna make for a harder pike push-up because of more load coming down on the upper back and shoulders. So you can widen and narrow your pike as needed for progression. And aside from widening your pike to make it easier, you can also elevate your hands. Here you can see I'm stepping out my hands onto yoga blocks and performing my pike push-ups with my hands slightly elevated on the yoga blocks. Having slight elevation of the hands will make it just a little bit easier. So keep in mind that elevating the hands is another method of progression. You can see here, you can also use things higher up like couches, ottomans, coffee tables for an even easier variation of pike push-ups as well. And now a couple stretches and other tips to help you out along the way. So the first stretch I recommend is the standing pike stretch. Just lower down to touch the floor in front of your feet if you can, just do the best you can. And you wanna just hold this position in a sort of forward fold like in yoga. Go ahead and let your back arch a little bit, but try to keep your legs straight and locked out at the knees. The whole idea here is to get more comfortable in a pike position. Now, aside from the standing pike, you can also do this in a seated position. This is called a seated pike stretch. And the difference here is I like that you can grab onto your feet once you can reach them and pull yourself forward to deepen the stretch. I also like to sometimes wrap a sweat towel around my feet, like around the toes, and then pull on the towel to really deepen the stretch. That's another good way to do it. And these pike compression leg lifts are also a good idea. Just keep your hands right outside your knees, so you're kind of reaching forward, and then keep the torso upright as you lift one leg at a time, pointing the toes forward. This will help your pike compression. And there you have it. Once you get the hang of pike push-ups using the stretches and progressions I showed you, you can start experimenting, like elevating the feet to make them even harder. You can see here I'm using the yoga blocks and elevating the feet to make it a fun, sort of interesting twist on pike push-ups. 
And of course, if you want to learn all sorts of fun push-up variations and other body weight exercises, plus how to eat healthy because that's a big part of the equation too, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay in touch, all right? And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button because that helps me out in return and I really appreciate it. All right, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later.